With the Chop Shop DLC, we received the brand new Salvage Yard business. And in this video, I'll be going in depth on how this new business works, as well as how to earn money using all the new features. So, without further ado, let's get started. To get started, you first need to purchase the Salvage Yard property off of Maze Bank foreclosures. There are a total of five different locations to choose from. Two of these salvage yards are located in the top half of the map and are both the cheapest options, with the Palito Bay location being the cheapest at 1.6 million. However, the more expensive salvage yards are located in the city area, with the most expensive one costing 2.6 million without the upgrades. So, which location is the best? I recommend that all players do not go for the Palito Bay location. This is because during the Salvage Yard missions, a lot of the locations are based in the city, with one of the missions requiring you to go all the way to the docks, which is quite literally across the other side of the map if you choose the Palito Bay location. So I only recommend going for the Salvage Yards situated in the city which are in the price range of 2.4 million to 2.6 million and that's without the upgrades which i will talk about now the first upgrade is the tint this is simply cosmetic and won't carry any extra benefits for the business and money making the next upgrade you can make to the salvage yard is the trade rates which will cost you $450,000. So what does this do exactly? Well for the price of $450,000 you will get discounts on all claims with Mars Mutual as well as discounts when repairing vehicles with Los Santos Customs. This is definitely the most useless upgrade out of all businesses in the game and definitely isn't worth spending an extra $450,000 for it. An upgrade that is worth spending money on though is the tow truck upgrade. There are two options for this upgrade. First is the regular tow truck which will cost 1.1 million dollars to purchase and then there's the tow truck beater for nearly half the price at $650,000. So what's the difference? Well the two tow trucks do have their differences not only by their looks but also how they perform. The normal tow truck will have better performance than the beater. However, for its purpose, the extra price tag just really isn't worth it in my opinion, as they are both practically the exact same. As for the look of the tow truck, you can change this inside of the salvage yard by respraying your tow truck. Now how the tow truck works I will explain later in the video, as the next upgrade will be the wall safe. The wall safe will cost $750,000 to install, however, Unlike other businesses, this wall safe is actually useful. Just like the agency, the wall safe will generate daily income from the salvage yard. The maximum cap for daily income with the salvage yard is $10,000 per in-game day. However, this can be increased and I'll explain how later on in the video. Finally, we have the staff upgrade. This will cost $625,000. The premise of this upgrade is very similar to the auto shop staff upgrade as you will learn in a minute. The staff upgrade will speed up time that it takes for the salvage car parts to be salvaged which now leads me on to how this business works. The first way the salvage yard can make money is from the tow truck upgrade. This will add a separate business to the salvage yard. This business works similarly to the auto shop customer deliveries only this time with an added twist. When you get inside of the tow truck, which is inside of the salvage yard, you will see the option to launch tow truck service. This tow truck service will send you out on a small mission to recover specific vehicles that you can salvage for parts. When you launch these missions, you will be sent out to recover a vehicle from a certain location. Using the tow truck, head out to this location and then hook up the tow truck to the vehicle. If you have ever played the Tonya missions in story mode, it's essentially exactly like those. When you get the vehicle back to the salvage yard, you will have completed the mission. After that, you don't have to do anything else because your staff will do the rest for you and speed up the process in which it takes to salvage the vehicles for parts. Now you can only have two vehicles being salvaged at once as there are only two lifts within the business. So once your staff have finished salvaging a vehicle for parts, you will be able to use the tow truck 
to recover more vehicles. In the meantime, all of the lift space will be unavailable until your staff completes each vehicle. The staff will take around 48 minutes real time to fully salvage one vehicle. This will earn you a total of $30,000, which isn't too bad considering you hardly had to put in too much work or even too much cost. However, like we mentioned earlier, you can also earn extra money from the wall safe within the salvage yard. You see, if you regularly recover more vehicles through the tow truck service, then the wall safe's daily income will be increased, which for each vehicle salvaged will increase your daily income by $1,000. So I assume the wall safe will work very similar to the agency wall safe. With the more salvage vehicles you complete, the more your daily income will increase. However, with that being said, that is everything that you need to know about the tow truck side of the business. Now let's get onto the main source of income for the salvage yard, which are the vehicle robberies. The vehicle robberies can be started via the planning computer at this location within the salvage yard. Again, this is a very similar style to the auto shop contracts. You get a selection of free vehicles that you can steal, all ranging from different sell values. These vehicle robbery missions are fairly advanced. Once you have selected the vehicle you want to steal, you will then need to do a scope out mission for a specific location to gather points of interest for the planning. After scoping out the location, you will then be given planning work that will include all of the necessary equipment and vehicles. There are also required tasks that you need to complete alongside the planning work, which will be specific depending on the mission that you have. For both the tasks and the planning, there are optional work that you can complete, which can include disrupting equipment and masks. When it comes to the actual robbery itself, the main focus for every mission will be to steal a high-end vehicle in any way possible, while also completing challenges for extra cash. If you complete all specific challenges for every robbery, you can earn an extra $50,000, and they are a lot of fun. Other than that, what about the big money? Well, the vehicle that you stole will remain inside of the salvage yard after you've completed the mission until you decide on what to do with it. There are three options when you go up to the vehicle. The first is to sell the vehicle to Yusuf, which will earn you the highest reward out of them all, or you can decide to salvage the parts from the vehicle, which will take around 15% off of your reward. And finally, you can sell multiple, which will only be available if you have other members inside of the salvage yard. So it's a no brainer. Obviously, you're going to want to sell the vehicle for the most money. This will put you into a mission where you need to drop the vehicle off to the docks without damaging it or you will lose money and within a 30 minute window which will be needed for those who bought the Polito Bay salvage yard. I did warn you. Other than that, you will just simply have to drop off the vehicle and get your reward. Altogether, each mission took me around 40 minutes to an hour to complete and are quite fun to do. So there you have it, the salvage yard business explained. It is very similar to other businesses without a doubt, especially with the auto shop. The contracts have a very similar style to the robberies and the wall safe has a very similar style to the agency, but either way, it is still a fun new business to try out. And if this video was helpful, be sure to give it a like, as well as subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you all later.